Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Warm welcome to all the viewers. I am Kamar Hussain. I am by profession cost and management accountant. Today we have very great topic to discuss with you. That is role of emo emotional intelligence in your career. And we have a great speaker with us. We have a great guest with us. But before I start, I will start with the Daniel Goldman quotation. If your emotional abilities are not in hand, if you don't have self-awareness, if you are not able to manage your distressing emotions, if you can't have empathy and have effective relationships, then no matter how smart you are, you are not going to get very far. This is the Daniel Goldman, which he says about the emotional intelligence. And that's our topic of today. And we have a very learned, very seasoned guest with us. And uh, let me introduce to Saira Munsafan, first and foremost. Uh, Saira, welcome to this uh, inspiring accountant show. And thank you very much for accepting my invitation. My pleasure. Thank you. Let me introduce uh, Saira. Saira is a clinical psych psychologist, and she is licensed in UAE. Uh, she qualified from the USA, and uh, along with that, she is a Fulbright Scholar. And during her studies, she got a gold medal, and she is US certified traumatic uh, stress study specialist. And from UK, she is certified in soft skills facilitation. She was uh, working with different universities and remained as assistant professor of psychology in Pakistan. And now she is running her own venture that is Voice of Wellbeing. It is an online compassionate program pro a platform which is non-judgmental. And she is providing different training and coaching pro uh, uh, programs to different kind of audience and different kind of people. Those are those want to learn about their life, about their development, about their future uh, programs. So I would like to uh, invite and I would like to welcome again to Ms. Saira Munsaf Khan for this show. And this was her, uh, you know, brief introduction. She will explain about her in in the uh, in a coming uh, time. So Saira, thank you very much and welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum assalam, Kamar. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. So we will start with this one. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to ask you that how would you define emotional intelligence and how it played a role in your career success being for achieving the gold medal and Fulbright scholarship and all these things. So what is your point of view would like to know from yourself uh, as an expert, please? Sure, sure. I'm, I'm just a learner. I would say I wouldn't call myself an expert. We keep learning throughout our lives. And uh, let me begin with uh, introducing how emotional intelligence would be related to whatever I was able to accomplish so far. Uh, the Fulbright happened, I believe, no, not just as a result of the gold medal uh, that was earned, even though you, you do believe, you know, it's a it's something that requires a lot of academic efforts. Uh, it was very much there. However, I believe all of the enrichment activities that I was a part of, you know, all the way from school and college, and even if I focus just on the university, I was uh, leading the Multan Association of Psychology students back then. We didn't even have a proper building of our own. So I remember all the way, you know, while I was serving as the vice president in the first year and then as the president of the society the next year, we would arrange workshops and seminars and trips and visits, if not every week, every two weeks. And Multan didn't have many resources back then, so we'd be in touch with people from Lahore especially. And we didn't stop there. We realized that there is a need to have a building of our own. We even went on to arrange events, uh, grand scale events to raise funds. And Alhamdulillah, we ended up building a couple of buildings uh, based upon the funds generated there. And when I applied for Fulbright Scholarship, um, I barely even knew what GRE means. So it wasn't like a great GRE score or not just the gold medal that I won um, in that MSc, I would say. It was the whole rounded profile, the ability to work in teams, the ability to be creative, to be able to solve a problem when facing a challenge, and the optimism. And I can say that, that those were the critical factors based upon the feedback that I even got from the interviews that I participated in. And the journey, uh, of course, you know, it, it was uphill since uh, that point on. 
I would say even with my professional engagements later on, it's been a lot of connection with the people. Like I do psychotherapy, I do counseling, I work with uh, people and, you know, learning skills and becoming even better with something that they are good at at the moment. All of that happens with uh, a lot of investment on the part of emotional intelligence skills. It's not just knowing what you know as a psychologist, it's being able to connect with the other people in a way so that you convey to them, it sinks in, it becomes a part of their learning and they are able to take it from there on as useful, beneficial learning. So uh, a lot of emotional intelligence is at play. But if I were to explain, you know, emotional intelligence in simple words, uh, I would say, let, let me borrow actually the uh, definition from Daniel Goleman himself, who's, who's a very well-respected figure, not just in the psychology domain, but in the corporate business world as well. He defines emotional intelligence as having five facets, let's say. So there are five elements to it. You should have self-awareness, that is knowing what you're feeling and why you're feeling it. Self-regulation, that is self-management, managing your crippling emotions, learning from them. Then motivation, that is enhancing positive emotions, aligning your actions with your passions. Fourthly, it's empathy knowing what you yourself are feeling, yes, but then also knowing what the other person is feeling, what's their per perception, what's their perspective, and then social skills, translating all of that into making interpersonal connections. All of that combined together makes emotional intelligence, and the importance for that, importance for working on that, is the same as working on your academic intelligence. As I shared with you, you know, all throughout our lives, we work on our mathematics skills, science skills, whatever is our interest. We spend hours and hours, months and months and years and years polishing that, even if it comes to us naturally. Like some yes. people might be good at math and still they spend enough amount of time and energy to improve upon it further and further. So the idea is because emotional intelligence is also a type of intelligent it, intelligence, it needs the same type of polishing and time and energy invested in order to really go up within that. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Saira. This was uh, wonderful to know about the emotional intelligence and about your career and how you help others also and uh, how you are bringing and uh, you know making them uh, independent and uh, helping them to grow and uh, this is uh, you know a uh, good to know about this one so uh, saira basically you know i am from accounting and finance background and uh, i have a lot of love for the accounting community uh, whatever i do i always bring the accounting and finance in between so i would like to know uh, your point of view about the accountants that uh, how emotional intelligence can help accounting community? Please help us so we can grow further also and we can reach to the next ladder of the career. I would like to know your point of view, please, especially uh, regarding the accounting community. Of course, of course. So uh, as you would have noticed, my last name, it's uh, Khan, and I come from a proud Patan family and a proof of my parents being proud of it as well is that we are seven siblings. Long story short, without naming names, Four of the family members come from accounting and finance background, and I, alhamdulillah, am not one of them. <laughs> now, what is it that all accountants have in common? We, we have heard about the two plus two um, famous saying out there, you know, different professionals were asked, what is two plus two? And people come up with their own philosophical or their professional related take on it. And when accountants are asked, what is two plus two? The answer is, what would you like for it to be? So they are the magicians of the sort. They are experts in what they do. Still, what is it that all accountants have in common? So you might be tempted to say that is the gender, but uh, not really, because we know that in the accounting field, we have males as well as females doing great work. So I guess you're right. The one common thing among all accountants is that they are people, they are humans. And mm. trust me, that's, that's the commonality right there among all of them. So whatever 
applies to any other human when it comes to emotional intelligence applies to accounting community and accounting professionals as well while you carry the title of being an accounting professional you are a son a brother a friend a husband a father an uncle a community member a manager a teacher a mentor so it could be all of or any of these roles that just make the skills of emotional intelligence as relevant to you and especially all the way more as it is to anyone else it could be all the way from accounting clerks bookkeepers to cfo's or consultants it it's just applicable equally also if we talk about you know the required skills the 21st century skills required of either businessmen or entrepreneur um, uh, venture explorers we know that self perception self expression interpersonal skills decision making and stress management these are the pillars and the foundations of success for any professional let it be in the job sector or let it be the entrepreneurship side without these foundational skills there's no excelling there's there's no growing without these and they are rooted in emotional intelligence itself later on you know we'll also talk about creativity we'll also talk about like you know taking risks and jumping into new ideas and all of that is also rooted in emotional intelligence well th thank you thank you saira so folks uh, just try to understand that in order to be you know more successful in order to reach to the next level of the ladder you need to you don't need only the technical skills number crunching analytical at the same time you need to be emotionally intelligent and you need to incorporate all these skills in your personality and in your area of uh, expertise where you have uh, better decision making skills better negotiation skills better presentation skills and all these skills have as saira said rooted into the emotional intelligence emotional intelligence is the first ingredient of all these to learning all these skills so thank kamar, you kamar aise hai na ke jo aapka professional knowledge hai jo accounting ka yeah. degree related knowledge hai wo to prerequisite ho gaya ab you know this is for the uh, bilingual audience out there उसके बगैर तो गुजारा नहीं एंड विल एलेबोरेट ऑन दैट फर्दर इन आर सेशन इज वेल सो दैट इज वेरी मच नीडेड लेकिन क्या वो काफी है इज दैट इनफ इज दैट सफिशियंट इन एंड ऑन इट सेल्फ नहीं नॉट रियली बिकॉज एज वी से वी आर ह्यूमन बींग्स हमें तो रहना ही कनेक्टेड वर्ल्ड में है आप टीम में फंक्शन कर रहे हो आप अपना काम भी कर रहे हो तो बाहर आप लोगों के साथ इंटरेक्ट कर रहे हो सो दो स्किल्स एक्चुअली translate your technical knowledge into a quality productive output so uski translation kar pata hai ki ha mujhe ye aata hai ab ye mujhe fayda kaise dega utilizing the emotional intelligence skills right 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 thank you thank you sara so we'll move further and uh, we'll have a next question from you that is uh, is being emotionally intelligent related to being professionally successful as well i would like to know your point of view on this one in my 11 years of experience working with corporate sector students recent graduate senior professionals kisi se puch lo aap ask them what do they want out of life you know what's your goal a universal goal as an answer that comes out is we want to be successful and often times when you ask okay so what do you mean by success either you get a blank stare because they haven't really thought about it or you get the typical answer such as you know i want a degree i want wealth i want certain titles koi cfo ban jao ya manager ban jao i want a certain promotion ya houses or cars or jewelry you get any of those answers as the typical responses and my question at that point is how many times have you seen people in misery with all of that so a moment of reflection i won't give a direct answer here we all know what the answer there lies uh, so 
we have all heard about stories of college dropouts as well so kya emotionally intelligent hona jo hai wo successful hone se related hai to pehle to baat kar lete hain un typical famous stories ki ke jo hame mujhe lagta hai almost ek misconception create karte hain ke ji ye college dropout tha wo bhi to millionaire billionaire ban ke you know they are happy and what not bill gates steve jobs kfc's founder story thomas edison ke le Okay, if I look at Bill Gates from Sir Ken Robinson's perspective, I mean, he passed away lately, so sorry to hear that. He is the one who says that um, the typical schools out there they kill creativity. So if it were being analyzed by him, he would probably explain Bill Gates' success as not being a part of school or college too long, because he dropped out of university as well. But then we also know that he spent more than 10,000 hours doing programming and computer related stuff prior to entering university so agar malcolm gladwell ke outliers lens se dekha jaye to maybe uh, he already had more than 10,000 hours of experience under his belt so that could be the key to success but then we also know of stories where this isn't the case and yet they are being successful and we also in all honesty we also know of uh, real time scenarios where probably our next door neighbors were akram amjad or muniba couldn't complete high school or college degrees and they are absolutely miserable personally and professionally to ek to cheez ye define hoti hai ke academic jo knowledge thi yani jo professional aapka technical knowledge tha agar accounting ke hawale se dekha jaye ya kisi bhi domain ki jo ek base knowledge hoti hai wo zaruri hai उसको आप कैसे एक्वायर करते हैं दैट इज योर ऑप्शन ये लोग शायद इस तरह के लोग थे कि जिसमें इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस का इतना हाई लेवल था दे हैड द सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन टू मेक देम डू दिस टू मेक देम एक्वायर ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स विदाउट बीइंग डिस्ट्रैक्टेड सो इफ यू आर द काइंड ऑफ द पर्सन हु कैन कीप अ फर्म रिजर्ड सोर्ट ऑफ अ रूटीन व्हिच इज हेल्दी फॉर यू व्हिच इज हेल्पफुल टू यू and you can acquire all of this knowledge on your own sure go ahead but if you are somebody who benefits from having a system around them who benefits from enrolling in a course ke jab pata hota hai ki ab is time pe uthna hai yahan pe jana hai ye karna hai aur us routine ke bahane aap wo cheeze kar jate ho which help you in your personal and professional domains then make use of that so it's not necessary ki aap usko follow karte karte apna bhi nuksan kar le secondly my uh, more important sort of i believe question would be ke what is it that is common among these people who are succeeding either by traditional or by non traditional means what i want to say here is my take on the scenario is that these people are all well aware of their passion they know what brings them joy they know where their happiness lies they are not doing these things because of outside pressure they do it because of an internal drive because of an internal compulsion the need the urge to do comes from the inside nobody has to tell them ki ab tumne ye karna hai you have to do it now it's happening because they want to do it and they know that that's where their happiness their passion lies that also is emotional intelligence humne baat ki thi emotional intelligence ki definition ki and the first phase it was self awareness know where your heart resides know where your interests lie know what kind of a person you are personality assessment bahut broad term ho jata hai so agar aap usko narrow down karke in sawalat mein baat kare so it will help you identify those interests or is tarah ke log aap ye dekhte ho again when you read those stories and often times reading alone uh, doesn't really help aap dekhte ho ke these people look at their failures differently they don't define their failures even they don't even simply define it as an opportunity to learn and try again as growth mindset says these people define even their failures as a matter of fact एक सिंपल स्टेप के तौर पे वो उसको देखते हैं कि आई ट्राइड आई शोड अप आई डिलीवर्ड द बेस्ट आई कुड इन दैट मोमेंट एंड टाइम सो इट्स डूइंग व्हाट यू कैन बिकॉज यू वांट टू 
And as I said, a lot of the times reading these motivational stories alone won't do the trick. And I actually have a training coming up on like, you know, how to take care of the inner script or your internal challenges. But will I be able to do it? Am I good enough to do it? And I'll be sharing those details with you. You could share them for further, you know, through uh, this platform. But bottom line is our capacity to be aware of our emotion when we are doing something is a key to something that we call success because it then will lead to happiness. It then will lead you to feeling purposeful. And you know what? I want to add some take-home advice here to people across the cadre who might be listening. You know, we might have uh, some students, we might have some professionals here. So I wanna share some advice with you right here that can help you tap into exploration of uh, that purposefulness, exploration of your interests. Let's begin with high schoolers. So if you are a high schooler or if you're going to school, or if you're a parent who has a child who's going to school or in that stage, exposure have them participate in as many activities as possible of a varied nature sports club bhi ho sakta hai, science event bhi ho sakta hai, wo art type creative event bhi ho sakta hai. just participate the goal is not to win wo even job shadowing or observation bhi ho sakti hai. just take, take the kids with you to your office someday just have them go there, let them sit, let them observe that in professionals ka kaam hota kis tarah se. These types of experiences, the more you indulge, the more you expose yourself, the more you make yourself go through certain things. That's the first hand way of knowing. Do I like it? Is this something I want to do more of? If you're a university undergraduate student, I would say follow liberal arts approach. Take courses from other domains as well. So I don't know if your university allow you to do this if you are a particular profession, you can also take other professions from other professions. If your university doesn't allow you to do this, this is the age where internet offers you a lot of free resources. Coursera, hai, edX, hai. Google is your best friend. Just go there, type whatever you want to explore. You don't have to pay anything. Just set aside some time of your life and see if that might be your calling. University graduate student, you have already picked a specialization. You have already picked a field. There are several sub-specializations within that. You might be surprised. Psychology itself has 60 plus registered sub-specializations. Or at times, one field ke specialization ke log, dusri field se itne mukhtalif hote so do that within, within uh, your domain. Talk to people from different specializations. And if you are into job, early career, you are already job. Kare ho. Role rotations. Hote. A lot of companies offer that. Make yourself a part of it. If you have a new volunteer. Kar do. थोड़े से एक्स्ट्रा घंटे लगेंगे हो सकता है आपका उसमें इतना दिल लग जाए आपका उसमें इतनी अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस सामने आए कि आपकी मैनेजमेंट भी उसको नोट करे और आपकी अगली जो प्रमोशन है आपकी अगली प्लेसमेंट उस चीज में हो जाए सो इट्स अ विन-विन सिचुएशन दोनों लोग देयर हैप्पी लेट्स से नाउ आई विल क्लोज इट एट द मोस्ट नॉट मोस्ट एक्सपीरियंस बट लाइक मिड करियर प्रोफेशनल्स हु हैव ऑलरेडी हैड अ लॉट ऑफ इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस अंडर देयर बेल्ट if uh, you are that kind of a person ke jo already in leadership position mein hai, it doesn't have to be the CEO of the company. Uh, you are a leader if you're an assistant manager or a manager. Aap kuch na kuch logon ko leke chal rahe hote ho. So if that's the kind of scenario, please understand you have a bigger responsibility on yourself. Or aap phir emotional intelligence ko istamal karke na sirf apni zaat ko faida pancha sakte ho. You can have those people grow with you. So you know, as they say, when I talk to managers, I get the feeling that they are important. So I better listen to what they're saying. But when I talk to leaders, I get the feeling that I am important. So be that kind of a leader. And you can learn the art. 
it is it is totally learnable even if right now you're not that kind of a person so as you know simon sinek uh, says famously a leader's job is not to be in charge but to be able to take care of the people that are in our charge so those are just a few tips that i believe can be helpful for people uh, to take as a take home lesson right away well well thank you thank you very much saira and this was uh, really a feast to learn all of it and uh, you know uh, all of us need to be a leader leadership is not a position it's a character and uh, it's your attitude basically and whatever position you are working you can be a leader it's a trait which you should build and uh, for example if you are not at a leadership position right now and you don't uh, also uh, observe and you don't also pray, you know exhibit the leadership then maybe on at one point of time you become a leader then it will not be installed immediately in you you have to develop yeah. over the time yeah. over the period yeah. over over the period period of time and regarding the courses you are talking about uh, saira even one of the best universities in the world and in pakistan also like harvard like oxford like lums they all have free resources yeah. so if someone want to learn then uh, sky is the limit sky is the limit totally ab to coursera pe aap dekhiye kamar bilkul aapne sahi kaha matlab or that's just one platform that i use a lot edx or coursera future learn hai best universities from across the globe free content exactly. really you just need to tap into the passions and have the idea aur aapne bilkul sahi baat ki abhi aage hum isko aur bhi explore karenge ki ye skills aap mein honge to aapki leadership logon ko nazar aayegi aur aapke phir उस लीडरशिप पोजीशन पे इवन प्रोफेशनली प्रमोट किए जाने के चांसेस बढ़ जाएंगे ऐसे ही ऐसे ही बिल्कुल सही कह रही हैं या तो वी विल मूव फर्दर एंड नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू नो योर एडवाइस दैट हाउ वुड यू गिव टू अ व्यूअर्स फॉर फाइंडिंग देयर पैशन एंड अटेनिंग करियर एक्सेलेंस दैट व्हाट इज यू वांट टू गिव देम बिकॉज़ सो मेनी पीपल आर वाचिंग अस दे आर कमेंटिंग आल्सो Uh, i'll show uh, i'm showing their comments on and off some people but like uh, audience is engaged with us uh, we have uh, from from accounting community and some people from my village also joined nice 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 so uh, as i shared kamar uh, aapka jo finding of the passion hai na it doesn't have to start once you are done with your degree your finding of your interest start right in your school years it has to start then and that's where you start experimenting with the different options that exist out there okay you begin from there you keep indulging in whatever options come your way uska maqsad jeetna nahi hai uska maqsad jo hai wo wahan se ek winner ka certificate leke bahar aana nahi hai uska maqsad ye hai ki you put yourself in the situation real time to get a first hand feedback is it me or is it not me because i do a lot of career guidance counseling as well sometimes it's career transition that we work on ki log sometimes डिग्रीज यूनिवर्सिटी डिग्रीज कंप्लीट करके समटाइम्स इवन कुछ साल प्रोफेशन में लगा के दे रियलाइज आई कैन नॉट डू दिस फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ माय लाइफ दे आर सो टायर्ड ऑफ दैट देयर इट्स इट्स अ रिपल्सिव आइडिया टू गो टू ऑफिस एवरी डे एंड यू नो व्हाट इट्स इट्स द गुड थिंग इज दे आर एट स्टेप 1 ऑफ इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस व्हिच मींस दे नो दे आर अवेयर ऑफ द फैक्ट they are aware of the feelings that are being generated within them that this is not me listen to that feeling respect that feeling it's fine if you have spent 4 years in a certain degree to spend you know another 4 or 5 years building a new skill a lot of people work as they get their degrees as well and as i've shared there are certain specializations even that you can complete attain via online learning so you could be working full time acquiring a new skill because you want to change your career do that completely virtually a lot of people do that and then start the career over there without halting your responsibilities because i understand a real time challenge khas taur pe back home even like you know with this covid scenario ye to economic impact and the job insecurity it's it's almost global and universal so 
you could do that without cutting off uh, your current job aap apni current responsibilities ko roke bagair usko usko affect kiye bagair you can make time for additional skill learning so uh, com- completely doable and this is this is you know um, an endless discussion if i say avenues bahut hain sirf uh, खुद की सुनना भी जरूरी है अगर आपकी बॉडी आपका जहन खुद को ये फीडबैक दे रहा है कि ये करियर मेरे लिए नहीं है गिव योर सेल्फ द एक्सपोजर ऑफ अदर करियर्स बिकॉज देन इट वॉन्ट बी फोर्स्ड अपॉन यू ऐसा नहीं है कि जब आप अपना पैशन डिस्कवर कर लेते हो तो उसमें एवरी थिंग कम्स ईजी इट इज नॉट सपोज टू कम ईजी बिकॉज इफ एवरी थिंग इज लाइक है नेचुरली so that means you are in your comfort zone you're not learning you're not trying new things you're stagnant you're stagnated and you don't want that you want to continually grow it's just that it shouldn't feel like a burden on you okay yes 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 that is true and uh, regarding the passion uh, as you told that passion won't come automatically also you have to work for it also like I emotional work. intelligence you have to work for it you in order to know what is your passion you mm-hmm. need to work for it you need to go and get it and uh, there is a very my one of uh, favorite from pakistan kasim ali shah wo kehte hain agar aapka passion hai to doesn't matter what in which profession you are if you have a passion doesn't matter what is your profession bilkul aise to ye hai ki agar aapne passion apna talash kar liya to fir doesn't matter ke kaun sa profession aapke samne hai चाहे आपने जो कुछ पढ़ा हुआ है वो या कुछ और आप जो कुछ भी कर रहे हैं आपने पैशन के मुताबिक जी बिल्कुल ऐसे ही है क्योंकि देखिए खबर जब आप कोई चीज करने की कोशिश करेंगे ना तो उसमें ऊपर नीचे मामला होंगे जब भी आप कुछ कोई गोल अटेन करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो ये नहीं हो सकता कि वो एक स्मूथ राइड हो आपने कोई चीज सोच ली आपने एक प्लान बना लिया आपने उस प्लान पे काम करना शुरू कर दिया और आपने गोल अटेन कर लिया हो सकता है एक दफा ऐसा हो जाए दो दफा ऐसा हो जाए लेकिन रियलिटी में ऐसा नहीं होता देर विल बी टाइम्स जब आप फेल हो गए देर विल बी टाइम्स के जब लोग आपको क्रिटिसाइज करेंगे देर विल बी टाइम के जब आपको जो है वो मुंह की खानी पड़ेगी रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द बेस्ट ऑफ द प्लानिंग रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द बेस्ट ऑफ द बिजनेस प्लान है वो चाहे वो कुछ भी है how do you get back up how do you process the feedback that's given by other people how do you choose kya sunna hai aur kis cheez ko side pe karna hai so right. these, these these things are and they come there it's all rooted in, in emotional intelligence ke kahan pe aap line draw karte ho ke ye jo feedback hai ye mujhe define nahi kar raha meri zaat ki definition yahan se nahi nikal rahi it's something that i need to change tweak in the strategy and move on within that so aisa nahi hai ki main chuke fail ho gaya hu to mere sath koi masla a lot of time that happens log ek dafa try karte hain do dafa try karte hain ye soch ke give up kar dete hain ki yaar mere mein koi deficiency hai mere mein koi flaw hai there is something inherently deficient in me and that is something where the trick of ai comes in that's where the line the needs to be drawn Okay, this is your learning from the try that you made. So the appreciation needs to be made for the effort for showing up. It's not about the failure. That doesn't count much. What counts is you tried, you showed up, you made your best effort, and all right, let's learn from the scenario and redo it. Ji, बिल्कुल ऐसे ही. Failure भी एक किस्म का एक lesson ही है. तो That we can learn from the failures. अच्छा एक सारा एक क्वेश्चन है यहाँ पे एक हमारे व्यूअर्स हैं गाजी मुस्तफ़ा अब्दुल्ला उन्होंने कहा है कि हाउ टू कम्बाइन आई क्यू एस क्यू एंड ई क्यू आई वुड से दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वट वी आर इवन डिस्कसिंग बिफोर वी वेंट लाइफ सो गुड आस्किंग दैट मीन्स द पर्सन इज रियली लिसनिंग when we talk about daniel goldman's definition of emotional intelligence so i was sharing with kamar actually backstage uh i come from a psychology background okay and i come from a research background as well and i have a lot of interest in emotional intelligence i've been doing research on it for about 15 years more than that maybe theoretically speaking jo daniel goldman ki definition hai emotional intelligence ki it's almost a mix of emotional and social intelligence बिकॉज वो सिर्फ इमोशन तक लिमिटेड नहीं है उस इमोशन की यूटिलाइजेशन इन अ वे टू कनेक्ट विद पीपल इन अ पॉजिटिव हेल्थी वे दैट्स इंक्लूडेड सो 
आपका जो इमोशनल क्वेश्चन जिसको कह देते हैं या इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस की एबिलिटीज जो हैं विच इज यू नो नोइंग वट यूर फीलिंग कैन यू मैनेज इट कैन यू हैंडल इट आप अपने इमोशंस को ना सिर्फ ये कि समझ रहे हो आप उसको कंटेन कर पा रहे हो कि नहीं आप उसको प्रॉपरली एक्सप्रेस कर पा रहे हो कि नहीं वर्क प्लेस सिचुएशन ले लें कुछ ऐसा हो रहा है विच इज नॉट सिटिंग वेल विद यू आपको पसंद नहीं आ रही चीज क्या आप सिर्फ फ्रस्ट्रेट हो के एंग्री होके बस्ट आउट हो जाते हो इज दैट वॉट यू डू और you understand what's happening within you maybe it is anger let's say if it is anger now let me give you an example of like how to understand emotions and um, as i mentioned we have a specialized workshops coming up for that but i'll give you the uh, uh, explanation for anger here jab bhi koi insaan gussa hota hai na hum usually usme kya karte hain ke focus karna shuru kar dete hain wo jo external mamlaat ho rahe hain usme there is yelling maybe there is a uh, negative word you know there there's maybe abusive language over there there may be is a physical aggression wala action hai koi anger basically is not all of that that's happening on the outside anger is what is it that needed to be protected ko sata baat hai jab kisi aisi cheez pe attack ho raha hota hai jisko ke aapne protect karna tha tab wo cheez sari samne aati hai तो जब आप इसको इस एंगल से समझते हो और फिर आप खुद से पूछते हो कि अच्छा व्हाट इज इट दैट नीड्स टू बी रिस्टोर्ड तो आप फिर उसको एक्सप्रेस करते हो अपनी टीम के सामने इस सजेशन के तौर पे कि जिससे फिर उस पूरी सिचुएशन में बेहतरी आ सकती है सो इफ यू लुक एट एंगर फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव दैट सेम एंगर के जिसको जाहरी तौर पर लोग नेगेटिव इमोशन का लेबल देंगे दैट इमोशन कैन एक्चुअली कम इन हैंडी to bring improvement not just to yourself but to your team in general so koi bhi emotion jo hai wo in and on itself acha ya bura nahi hota ab wo positive negative zarur hota hai bottom line wo hame kuch bata raha hota hai aur humne usse kuch seekh ke aage jana hota hai iq ka aap main isko because these are very general terms as psychologists we don't believe in two or three types of intelligences intelligences ki 21 se zyada types ko different psychologists jo hai wo different tarike se baat karte hain so if i were to look at uh, iq more in terms of let's say academic intelligence kelo yeah if i were to include like some sort of problem solving and creativity within that i would say that's the prerequisite for professionals us pe koi bahas hai hi nahi do you need the technical knowledge do you need your theoretical knowledge to be a good accountant yes you need it can you choose your way of learning yes you can choose your way of learning aajkal ka daur aisa hai ki wo learning ho sakta hai aapne khud se ki ho kisi virtual tutor se ki ho ya wo aapne online kuch resources istemal karke ki ho ho sakta hai aap typical traditional kisi institute mein ja ke aapne padha ho that's a prerequisite wo optional nahi hai but how do you actually translate that to something that's uh, good for you professionally aapko wo success kaise dega because teams to isolation mein operate nahi karti aapne to duniya mein operate karna hai aapne wo apni knowledge ka istemal logo mein karna hai so think of people as people learn the people skills develop the emotional intelligence because this idea of knowing what you are feeling what the other person is feeling what you are thinking what the other person's perspective is this helps you make connections and these connections get you the success then that you are looking for ye connections aapke sir for reference wale connections nahi ye connections aapke ek team mein function karne ke connections bhi hain tarah tarah ke log hain mukhtalif personality hai mukhtalif tarah ka unka cheezon pe take hai so if you want to be a person who functions in a healthy way or maybe as a leader of that pack you will need to be able to connect with all of those different types of people and you need emotional intelligence for that all right uh, sir i had a last question but i think you already covered a lot of it that is that uh, how we can uh, emotional intelligence at the professional types and at workplace and uh, i believe you have already covered a lot of part of it but if you want to say something uh, the last thing but this is the last thing I would like to ask. Then uh, I will go to the questions asked by the people uh, from Welcome the audience. Summer. I think I would uh, summarize it in a way that it becomes more easily understandable for people. कि हमने जैसे शुरू में काम ने एक knowledge किया कि emotional intelligence जो है 
वो उसी तरह से स्किल सेट है एक जिस तरह से कोई भी और स्किल सेट है और उसको सीखना पड़ेगा उस पर काम करना पड़ेगा डोंट एक्सपेक्ट कि ये या तो नेचुरली मेरे में होगा तो ठीक है अगर नहीं है तो नहीं भाई मैं तो लीडर बन ही नहीं सकता मैं तो कभी ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप कर ही नहीं सकता मैं तो कभी किसी कंपनी में लीडरशिप पोजिशन पर जा ही नहीं सकता या सकती नो दैट्स दैट्स नॉट इट्स अ स्किल इट्स लर्नेबल यू कैन लर्न इट बट हाउ डू यू लर्न इट अब आर नो आजकल के uh, हमारी जनरेशन इसको इतना रिलेट कर पाती है कि नहीं बट आई टेक यू बैक टू लर्निंग हाउ टू ड्राइव अ कार जो मैनुअल गाड़ी होती थी जब उसको चलाना सीखते थे तो शुरू शुरू में बहुत मसला होता था कि आप गेयर लगाएं कि क्लच दबाएं कि क्या करें वो हाउ हाउ विल ऑल ऑफ दैट जगल यू नो एक्चुअली ट्रांसलेट इन टू द स्मूथ ड्राइविंग ऑफ अ कार तो शुरू शुरू में जैसे कि हम कहते हैं अगर आप इस फेज से बाहर आ गए कि जहाँ पे आपने ये रियलाइज कर लिया कि हाँ मुझे इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस सीखने की जरूरत है अगर तो डिनाइल में है तो फिर तो पहले उसको तोड़ने की जरूरत है कि नहीं भाई ये जो अनकॉन्शियस इनकॉम्पिटेंस है इससे बाहर आना पड़ेगा जस्ट बिकॉज आई हैव दैट प्रोफेशनल डिग्री डजेंट मीन आई विल ऑटोमेटिकली बिकम अ सक्सेसफुल प्रोफेशनल आई विश दैट वॉज ट्रू आई नो उस पर बहुत सालों की मेहनत लगी होती है और कुछ इदारे हमारे जो हैं वो ये चीज़ें नहीं सिखाते हमें एज अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट डिग्री प्रोग्राम कुछ सिखाते हैं और आप देखते हो कि फिर फर्क होता है उन लोगों की फिर करियर ग्रोथ में पर जहाँ नहीं सिखाया जा रहा वहाँ पे गेट आउट ऑफ दैट डिनाइल चूज टू लर्न इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस वेन यू विल स्टार्ट लर्निंग इट यू विल हैव हिकअप्स ऐसा नहीं है कि ये स्मूथ प्रोसेस होगा शुरू शुरू में आपको एक अननेचुरल सी फीलिंग आएगी इसी तरह जैसे गाड़ी चलाते हुए अननेचुरल सी फीलिंग आती है शुरू शुरू में बट देन अल्टीमेटली यू सी हाउ इट बिकम्स रियली स्मूथ एंड अनकॉन्शियस कॉम्पिटेंस बन जाती है वो आपकी आपको नहीं पता होता कब आपने गेयर बदला है कब आपने इंडिकेटर दिया है ऑल ऑफ दैट इज हैपनिंग वेरी नेचुरली एंड कमर देर आर फाइव स्टेप्स दैट आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद यू विद इन दिस कि आप ये कर कैसे सकते हो आप कल से फर्श करो या आज इस सेशन के बाद से आप कहते हो कि अच्छा मैंने इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस बेहतर करनी शुरू करनी है तो क्या कुछ छोटी छोटी चीजें ऐसी हैं जो अभी हम यहाँ पे शेयर कर सकते हैं कि अच्छा यू बिगिन फ्रॉम देयर फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिस मुश्किल लगेगी शायद क्यों क्योंकि बहुत सालों का ये एक रिस्पॉन्स है हम क्या करते हैं एवरी मॉर्निंग वी गो टू वर्क गुड मॉर्निंग असलम हाउ आर यू a typical response you expect is fine thank you stop saying that let's start answering with authenticity let's start telling the truth and let's be ready to listen to the truth aksar puchne wala jawab ka intezar bhi nahi karta aur apni agli baat pe chala jata hai because pata hota hai aage se kya jawab hone wala hai so complainer nahi banna ये नहीं कि अब हाउ आर यू के जवाब में यू स्टार्ट विद सेट ऑफ कंप्लेंट्स बट लेट्स लर्न टू फ्रेस थिंग्स व्हिच आर ऑथेंटिक एंड यट नॉट ब्लेमिंग सो ये स्टेप आपका आता है एक्नोलेजिंग इमोशंस का ये एक छोटी सी चीज अगर आप ये अपनी मॉर्निंग प्रैक्टिस बना लो अपनी कंपनी की यू विल स्टार्ट मेकिंग स्पेस फॉर एक्नोलेजिंग इमोशंस सेकेंड स्टेप डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग एंड एनालाइजिंग इमोशंस वो कैबलरी बिल्ड करें इमोशंस की इमोशंस दो तीन या चार तरह के नहीं होते हम में से अक्सर लोगों को एज आई सेड इन वन ऑफ माय पोस्ट एज वेल मैड सैड बैड ग्लैड के अलावा हमें अपने इमोशंस में टैप इन करना नहीं आता गूगल कर लें एक सर्च इमोशंस की आपके सामने बहुत सारे अल्फाज आ जाएंगे एंड नेक्स्ट टाइम व्हेन यू आर इन अ सर्टन स्टेट ट्राई पिकिंग द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट वन एज इन ट्राई पिकिंग द वन जो कि जिससे आप सबसे ज़्यादा रिलेट कर रहे हो इवन हैप्पीनेस के लेवल्स होते हैं यू नो इट कुड बी जॉय इट कुड बी यूफोरिया इट कुड बी एक्सटैटिक हैप्पीनेस इट कुड बी कामनेस एंड पीस एंड सरेनिटी तो उनको एक्सप्लोर करें क्योंकि होता क्या है जब आप थक करके एक लफ्स को पिक कर लेते हैं ना अबाउट फ्राम द वैबलरी फिर आप उसी तरह से बिहेव करना शुरू कर देते हैं यू स्टार्ट ऑपरेटिंग फ्राम योर कम्फर्ट जोन अकॉर्डिंगली एंड दैट्स नॉट हेल्पिंग विद द ग्रोथ थर्ड स्टेप एक्सेप्ट एंड अप्रीशियट इमोशंस सो एज आई सेट ग्रीफ है सैडनेस है इवन एंगर है या डिसअपॉइंटमेंट है दे आर नॉट बैड इमोशंस दे आर टेलिंग यू समथिंग ग्रीफ आपको बताता है कोई शख्स इंपॉर्टेंट था कोई लॉस है जिसकी कोई वैल्यू थी सो यू आर अ ह्यूमन यू आर एबल टू फील इट इट इज टेलिंग यू समथिंग 
اس کو ایکسیپٹ کریں اور اپنی اس ایبلٹی کو اپریشیٹ کریں کہ آپ وہ محسوس کر پا رہے ہیں بیکاز ایسا ہی شخص پھر انہی کنیکشن سے خوشی بھی ڈرائیو کر سکتا ہے اس پہ خوش بھی ہوگا پھر اسی کنیکشن سے اس کو دل فیل جوائے اینڈ کنٹینٹمنٹ ڈس اپوائنٹمنٹ کیا ہوتا ہے ہم کہتے ہیں بڑا ڈس اپوائنٹنگ تھا ڈس اپوائنٹمنٹ از بیسیکلی این انفلفلڈ ایکسپیکٹیشن این ان میٹ ایکسپیکٹیشن تو ٹیپ ان کریں کہ اچھا یہ ہوا کیا ایک ان میٹ ایکسپیکٹیشن تھی کیا ایکسپیکٹیشن تھی سیکھ لیں وہاں سے فورتھ ریفلیکٹ آن یور ایموشنس اینڈ دیئر اوریجن ویئر از اٹ کمنگ فرام کیا ایک سرٹن ایموشن آپ کا اسی سینیریو کا ریئیکشن ہے یا وہ آپ کے ذات کے کسی حصے سے نکل رہا ہے شاید کوئی چیز جو آپ نے سالہ سال پہلے ایکسپیرینس کی ہے اور وہ جسٹ ایز اے نیچرل ریئیکشن باہر آ جاتی ہے کچھ لوگوں کو آپ نے دیکھا ہوگا کسی بھی طرح کی سینیریو میں بڑی جلدی ٹریگر ہو جاتے ہیں اینگر کرپٹ ہو جاتا ہے مے بی دیٹ از ناٹ کنٹینڈ ود ان دیٹ سینیریو شاید کوئی پرانی بات ہے جس کو ریزالو کرنا ضروری ہے ففتھ اینڈ آئی کمبائن ٹو پوائنٹس ود ان دیٹ بیکاز آئی نو آپ نے ابھی تک ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس کی کچھ تھوڑا آلریڈی ڈیولپ کر لی ہوگی نوہا ہینڈلنگ یور ایموشنس اینڈ بائی دیٹ ٹوکن ہینڈلنگ دا ایموشنس آف ادرس دیر آر مینی ویز مینیج کیسے کرنا ہے ایموشن کو غصہ آ رہا ہے گریف ہے سیڈنیس ہے خوشی ہے اس کو کس طرح سے آپ نے ہینڈل کرنا ہے مینج کرنا ہے کوئی ایک پکا پکایا بہترین طریقہ نہیں ہوتا دیر آر مینی سوٹیبل ویز آف این ٹائم یو نو ان تھیراپی سیشن چوز وچ سوٹ یو بیٹر لیکن اوور ٹائم آپ یہ چوز کر لیتے ہو کہ کون سا ایک ہیلدی سوٹیبل پراپر وے ہے جو آپ کے لیے فائدہ مند بھی ہے نقصان دہ نہیں ہے ایٹ لیسٹ کہ جس سے آپ پھر ان ایموشنس کو ہینڈل کرو گے مینج کرو گے اور صرف وہ شخص جو اپنے ایموشنس کو مینج کرنا سیکھ لیتا ہے پھر اس کیپیسٹی تک پہنچتا ہے کہ پھر وہ دوسروں کے ایموشنس کو بھی مینج کرنا سیکھے سیلف ماسٹری جو ہے نا وہ ضروری ہے پھر آپ دوسروں کو مینج کرنے پہ آتے ہو اور اس پہ یقین جانیے ونس یو ڈیولپ دس چاہے پروفیشنل گروتھ کے بہانے آپ کو یہ ہیلپ پرسنل ڈومین میں بھی کرے گا سو آپ چاہے میل ہیں چاہے فی میل ہیں آپ کی یہ جو اسکل ہے نا ٹو ہینڈل یور اون ایموشنز ایز ویل ایز ادر پیپلز ایموشنز ایٹ از گوئنگ ٹو ہیلپ یو بگ ٹائم ان یور پرسنل سرکمسٹانسز سوشل سرکمسٹانسز اینڈ پروفیشنل سینریوز آپ دیکھتے ہو جب آپ لیڈرشپ پوزیشنز کو اسٹڈی کرتے ہو کمر وڈ یو بلیو دیر آر نو ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس ڈفرینسز ان دا ہائر رینکس وہ ایک لیول کی ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس کی ان کی کمپیٹنس ہوتی ہے صحیح ہے صحیح ہے ویل تھینک یو سائرا یو ہیو سم تھنگ ایلس ٹو ایڈ آئی گیس دس از دس از اباؤٹ اٹ فرام مائی سائڈ آئی ہوپ دس از ہیلپ فل فار پیپل ٹو ٹیک ہوم میری گفتگو کا مقصد ہمیشہ یہ ہوتا ہے کہ وہ گفتگو صرف تھیریٹیکل گفتگو نہ رہے کچھ نہ کچھ شیئر کیا جائے لوگوں سے کہ جو اس کو اپنا کے تو آج سے اس کو پریکٹس شروع کر دیں اگر تو اس پرٹیکولر اسکل کی بہتری آنا شروع ہو جائے سو ہوپ فلی دیل بی ایبل ٹو میک یوز آف اٹ اینڈ مے بی گیٹ بیک ٹو می یو نو یو کین فالو می آن سوشل میڈیا انسٹاگرام ٹویٹر یوٹیوب فیس بک یو کین فائنڈ یو نو اٹس فارورڈ سلیش ویل بینگ وائس اور یو کین گیٹ بیک ٹو می آن دا فیڈ بیک کہ اف یو ٹرائڈ اینی آف دا اسٹریٹجیز دیر آئی شیئرڈ ود یو ڈیڈ اٹ ورک فار یو ہاؤ ڈیڈ اٹ ورک فار یو کیسے بینیفٹ ہوا اس پہ اینڈ از دیر اینی تھنگ ایلس آئی کین ہیلپ یو ود رائٹ رائٹ اور ایون ہو سکتا ہے آڈینس کی طرف سے آپ کو اچھی سجیشن بھی مل جائے سم ٹائم یو ریسیو ویری گڈ ویری گڈ سجیشن فرام دا آڈینس سائڈ اس پہ اس میں سیلف اویئرنیس کے متعلق میں تھوڑا اپنا پرسنل اسٹوری شیئر کرنا چاہوں گا سہرا جب میں نے سیلف اویئرنیس کے اوپر کچھ سیشن لیے پہلے تو اس وقت ریئلائز کرنا تو اس میں ایک بڑی زبردست انہوں نے چیز بتائی کہ جب بھی آپ کسی ایموشن سے گزریں تو اس کے بعد اس کا جو ہے انالیسس کریں کہ وائی اٹ ہیپن how it happened or how, how it should have been happened mm-hmm. and what was my reaction and how should ha- I have been reacted on this one. So, if you start to analyze it, when you start to get a bad emotion or a bad emotion, if you start to give it a little time, if you start to give it a little time, you will develop it. You will do it over it. But if okay. you want, uh, you will ignore it and you will go with the flow, then you won't be able to do that one. Analysis and 
रिएक्शन जो है वो ज्यादा बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात आपने की कि रिफ्लेक्शन तो करना ही करना है और क्या नहीं करना बिल्कुल व्हाट्स अ बिग नो इट्स रिप्रेशन उसको दबाना नहीं है उसको साइड पे नहीं करना क्यों क्योंकि उसकी रूट कॉज पे जाओगे तो पता चलेगा कि उस इमोशन में मैसेज क्या था वो आपको कन्वे क्या कर रहा है कमर यू माइट बी सरप्राइज बहुत सारी ऐसी बीमारियां जिनकी के जनरल मेडिकल फील्ड में रूट कॉज नहीं पता चली हुई अभी तक उसकी कैंसर की एक जो फेमस थेरी अभी तक इस्टेब्लिश है और रिसर्च बैक है वो है रिप्रेस्ड नेगेटिव इमोशन सो वो नेगेटिव इमोशन जिसका एक्सप्रेशन नहीं हो पाता वो अल्टीमेटली आपको इस लेवल तक भी ले जाता है एंड देर आर मैनी अदर आप देखते हो ऑल हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ रिप्रेस्ड नेगेटिव इमोशन सो यू आर एब्सोलूटली राइट उसकी एक्सप्लोरेशन उस पर रिफ्लेक्शन बहुत जरूरी है well well thank you saira there is a question from mr adil anwar i'll show you on screen also uh, i have a question first he is uh, admiring your session and he is asking a question also that what if someone loses his motivation in what he does that uh, what how, he has how, done how common is it kitni dafa aapko ye jo hai wo scenario samne aata hai ki ji पहले तो बहुत दिल था इस काम में और फिर अल्टीमेटली जो है अब अब यू नो वी आर नॉट मोटिवेटेड इनफ अब जनरल है आई एम नॉट श्योर वेयर विच परस्पेक्टिव इज ही कमिंग फ्रॉम बट माई टिपिकल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वुड बी वर वी क्लियर अबाउट आवर वाई वाई डिड वी स्टार्ट डूइंग इट टू बिगिन विद एंड कैन वी बी क्लियर नाउ लेट्स लुक बैक लेट्स गो बैक एट आर रीजन ऑफ वाई वी स्टार्ट इट डूइंग इट and sometimes that reminder alone will help and sometimes it might be due to other factors bahut se log hain jo aapko niche khinchne ki unko jo hai na wo bahut shock hota hai ya bahut se log hain jo bas naturally ek negative feedback de dete hain is that taking a toll on you kya aap aise logon ki baat sun rahe ho jo aapki spirit ko kill kar rahe hain so that's where you know one on one coaching work comes in ke kisko sunna hai kisko nahi sunna कौन से क्रिटिक्स हैं जो मैटर करते हैं एज आई मैं वो जो वर्कशॉप अपकमिंग है वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दीज थिंग्स के वो वो कौन सा फीडबैक है वेयर यू शुड बी प्लेसिंग योर फोकस ऑन और कौन से वाले को आपने कहना है कि नो थैंक यू वेरी मच आई हर्ड वट यू सेड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू लेट इट इम्पैक्ट तो वेन दैट इज हैपनिंग लुक एट योर वाई लेट सी वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन इन योर सैनारियो एंड हाउ इज इट दैट वी कैन रिमाइंड आर सेल्व ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ डूइंग दैट अगेन या क्या रिसोर्सफुलनेस का मसला है इंटरनल रिसोर्सफुलनेस का मसला है सो दो थिंग्स नीड टू बी लुक दैट वेल थैंक यू हेयर इज अनदर क्वेश्चन कैन यू प्लीज इलेबोरेट बाई सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ हैंडलिंग द इमोशंस जी बिल्कुल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड आई बिलीव अ फ्यू हमने एंगर की बात की अब डिसअपॉइंटमेंट की भी बात की जा सकती है मैं कहते हो इसमें लेट्स what what something everyone can i believe connect with is getting uh, feedback from your um, uh, from your boss let's say uski baat kar lete hain so agar aapko kaha ja raha hai ke ye aise kyu hua ya you know you really need to improve this or immediately aapke andar ek defensiveness aati hai to us emotion ko bhi tap in kare dekhiye ke क्या कोई एरिया ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट जेनवनली आइडेंटिफाई किया जा रहा है मे बी बेस्ड अपॉन दैट इमोशन योर लर्निंग कैन बी कि इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस डिफाइनिंग मी एज अ कंप्लीट पर्सन लेट मी आल्सो एक नॉलेज के इसी शख्स ने चार चीजों की तारीफ भी की है और वो भी जेनवन हो सकती है इसी बॉस ने पहले ये भी कहा कि हाँ तुमने ये भी अच्छा किया ये भी अच्छा किया ये भी अच्छा किया और फिर कहा कि अच्छा ये चीज अगर मजीद बेहतर कर लो तो क्या ही अच्छा हो जाए So let me take it as an opportunity to improve myself. So that could be another example. Well, well, that's that's uh, that's great, uh, Saira, and that's uh, one of the good examples. And uh, usually we don't consider that boss can uh, give some, you know, uh, advice for our improvement. We always consider that boss purpose of boss. By the way, my boss is also here. He is uh, attending this session, and he is yeah. commenting also. Uh, nice. so, so that's uh, like uh, you know uh, we should have uh, some uh, understanding that uh, purpose of boss is not always to criticize only it is uh, sometime he just want an improvement because uh, his success also his or her success also depends on your success 
Exactly. If you, if you are not working well and you are not successful, then your boss won't be successful at yeah. that. So he has vested interest in you. That we should understand. Like our parents have vested interest in ourselves. Same way, boss also has vested interest in uh, ourselves. So that's uh, how from where this emotional intelligence and all this starts. And uh, thank you very much, Saira. Uh, we had a very good session. And you explained the things in very great manners and very detailed manners and very wonderful examples you have given. And uh, we have received a very good response also from the audience self. Uh, I cannot show you all the comments over here, which we are receiving from the people. But when you will finish here, you will see that uh, how people are admiring you from different parts of the world. Someone commenting from USA, someone commenting from Pakistan, from UAE, and different countries. So this is, uh, we are also receiving some comments from the organizations. This one in front of you on the screen, you can see ABC Foundation. Nice. This is a school school in my village. They are doing wow. great job. Wow. Yes. And I would I would love to invite them to our emotional intelligence sessions happening later on as well. We'll definitely be having around, you know, uh, high school students as well uh, for that. Because we, we, we're going to offer it for a cross range. So it, I would love to actually hear uh, from all of the people who have been sharing their feedback. And it was a pleasure being here. I hope that this was uh, valuable and people can actually take home certain things that they can start working on to start polishing and building their emotional intelligence right away. Well, well, that's great. That's wonderful. That's what we desire for the people. And that's what we are here. We are spending time. People are spending time. So if they can get something better out of it, we will be we will consider ourselves successful in that matter. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's time so well we, invested. Yeah, time well invested. So thank you very much, Saira. Thank you very much. Thank you to all the audience. Thank you all everyone who joined us during this session and who will watch later on. Thank you. And we will end this show. If Saira, you want to say something, you are welcome. Uh, Kamar, I guess we have said enough already. Um, I would just close on the note saying that uh, emotions aren't something uh, which will make you less of a professional. emotions ko experience karna. Please understand that uh, people, when they reach leadership positions, they invest hundreds and thousands of dollars learning this skill. So emotions ko jaga de, iski professional growth mein bohat importance hai. So usko accept karna, khud ko usko experience karne ki ijazat dena, aur phir samajhna ki ye hume kya bata raha hai. This will really help your years and years of academic work translate into the kind of success as you actually desired for. So uh, well, let's, let's just appreciate the importance that it carries with it. Well, thank you. And uh, with the quotation of uh, Dale Carnegie, we'll close this session. Dale Carnegie said, when you are dealing with the people, you are not dealing with the creature of logic. Actually, you are dealing with the creature of emotions. So that we need to understand. So with this note, we would like to end today's session. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Saira. Thank you.